welcome back you are watching ohs integration with web logic and uh, in the part one we are going to install ohs in standalone mode if you are new to my channel don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and soa development if we talk about the architecture we have virtual machine that is oracle hyphen vm and uh, we are going to install oracle http server in that virtual machine and uh, we will redirect our request from ohs to weblogic server so if you want to see how we can install a virtual machine or how we can install oracle weblogic server you can watch my previous videos i have put those links in the i button in the production grade environment we can have multiple ohs server for the high availability and uh, those servers can uh, redirect request to multiple weblogic managed servers so for the simplicity of this video we are using only one host where we are going to install oracle http server and in the same box we already have weblogic server so we are going to integrate both of them when we install ohs there can be multiple installation modes one is uh, co-located mode and the another one is standalone mode so in the co-located mode uh, we have integrated weblogic server where we can manage ohs using em console and we can also use uh, wlst and command line so it consume more memory footprint if we compare it to standalone mode so in standalone mode we can manage ohs independently and to manage it we'll have to rely on wlst and command line as part of this video we are going to use standalone mode and before proceeding further we should check whether we have all the prerequisite packages installed with us or not so these are the list of prerequisite packages i have shared one link in the description you can check your system requirement and the set of packages for your system and you can watch the video which is added to i button uh, to see how we can install these packages download oracle http server you can visit edelivery.oracle.com and you can search for oracle http server i will share this link in the description you can simply click on this link and add to the cart and then you can download this after download you will be able to see this file so let us begin the installation yes and this will launch a installer click next here we will skip auto updates click next and here we'll have to provide oracle home so let us browse and select oracle home path so i have already created a folder web tier and inside that we have a standalone ohs folder you can create your own file path hierarchy if you want if you click view you won't be able to see any product install here because this is a empty folder click next and here we will select standalone http server and you can see in the bracket it is written manage independently of weblogic server here you will have to select your jdk home and we are selecting our soft link here if you want to see how to install java you can watch my previous video the link is in the i button click next and our prerequisite checks are fine we will click next and here you can save a response file and uh, later you can utilize this response file for the silent installation click install and this will take couple of seconds to complete so our installation is completed we will click next and uh, here you can see this is oracle home location and below are the feature sets which is installed as part of this installation you can click finish 
now we will go to oracle home and uh, we will see whether our installation is reflecting or not and you can see uh, we have different different folders here so our installation is reflecting now we will go to oracle common common and bin and we will do our configuration here so you will find config.sh which you can run from here and it will launch a launcher for the installation so here we will have to give our domain home and uh, here i am giving domain home path let's say it is ohs1 underscore domain you can give whatever name you want and here we have oracle http server standalone we will select this and click next here you can select your jdk location and uh, here we have our system component name i will go with the defaults and uh, here also we can go with the defaults if you want you can change port numbers and all but uh, it looks fine to me i will put listen address here that is oracle hyphen vm uh, dot com click next and uh, here we will give username password for the node manager i'm choosing username as ohs and you can give any password uh, whatever you want and we will click create so our configuration is done we will click next and you can see this is our domain home uh, let's finish so our domain creation is done for the ohs let's check that one and inside domain uh, you can see we have couple of domains one is fmw underscore domain that is for the web logic one which we have installed uh, earlier and uh, this is our ohs domain inside bin folder we get several scripts to start stop component or node manager so from here we will start our node manager first let us tell uh, no hoop locks and you can see our node manager is started on port triple five six and if you remember our weblogic node manager is also running on the same port so in the next video we will see how we can change node manager port once your node manager is started you can start the ohs component so for that we will use start component script and we will give component name that is ohs1 and it will connect to wlst and it will ask node manager password so let's give that and it is successfully connected to node manager and our ohs is started in the next video we will configure ohs to redirect request to weblogic server and you can see we are redirecting using ohs port if you found this video helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification and stay tuned for the part two where we are going to integrate weblogic and ohs thank you